A couple of bums from the neighboring town causing trouble here in Horneros. They already robbed a warehouse and a business in the market square. And what makes you think that they're here? Well, they always look for deserted hideouts. And what better place than a cemetery, Mr. Pablo? <laughs> no, 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 Detective. I haven't seen anyone. Everything is calm around here. I recommend that if you see anything, don't hesitate in contacting us. Oh yeah, don't you worry, Detective. If I see anything strange, I'll come and find you. Excuse us, Mr. Pablo. Yes, of course, sir. Lola. Lola, you can come out now. What did they tell you? They weren't looking for you. They're looking for some bums that were in town. Lola, I don't know what you did, but you can't stay here. It's much too cramped in here. Let me stay in that shack outside, please. I beg you, just let me stay out there. That cold and dark cave is no place for a girl to stay, Lola. It's perfect for me. I beg you. Please, I promise that as soon as Father Cayetano comes back to town, I'll ask him for help and I'll go somewhere else. But please, just let me stay here. I won't bother you, I promise, sir. Oh, please. Yes, Mom, I checked. That girl is Lola Carrero. I know, I know it's strange, but it's her. No, I haven't been able to talk to her. Yes, Mom, I know where she lives. I went to look for her this morning, but I wasted my time because nobody was home. In any case, this is great news, Marcelo. Do you have any idea what this means? <sighs> my goodness, I would love to. To be able to see her, talk to her, ask her what's been going on all this time. Marcelo, you can't lose sight of her now. Yes, Mom, I promise I'll keep trying. I'm interested in getting to know her and in helping her if she needs it. Mom, I'm not going to rest until I see her again, I swear. Necesitaba amor No puedo olvidar El mar de tus ojos Si en el fondo de ellos Brilla mi dolor I hope this helps. Thank you. You don't know how grateful I am. I don't know why I'm doing this. I built this for my dog, but for a girl like you... Well, for a young lady, it's just not right. Pablo, I beg you. Stop this craziness, Lola. Why do you go on insisting on living this way? Just like another corpse. You're alive. You deserve better than this. Please, Pablo. I beg you. I'll be gone soon. Please, Pablo. Listen, Lola, I know that my place is a little cramped. And if the townspeople found out, there would be a big scandal. But anything is preferable to this miserable shack. Don't you think so? There's no way on earth I'm staying in there with you. You don't trust me? No, not at all, Pablo. I could get you in trouble. Someone could pass by and see me in there and report you to the police. I beg you, please. I'm staying out here until I figure it out. I was wondering, do you do anything else but work all day, Auntie? Yes, there must be a little social life in this town, no? The truth is, I have very few friends in Horneros, and I rarely meet up with them. And don't you miss them? Miss them? That's why I have my cows. I really prefer them. They're calm, generous, they entertain me, they don't talk back, and they give me milk. What more could I ask for? <laughs> <laughs> well, Auntie, don't you have a more recent picture of my cousin Marcelo? You know I don't. You know, he doesn't like to have his picture taken. Though he's very good at taking them. Hmm. And what does he study? Philosophy and the arts. Oh. He was always good at school. He just loves books. Hmm. Hmm. It was to be expected, Auntie. What else would someone like Marcelo, so special, have studied? Hmm? 
Is there something wrong with it? No, 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 no. It must be perfect for an intellectual. I suppose he's a calm young man and formal. What did my dear niece study in Paris? I was a seamstress, Auntie. A seamstress? No, 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 no. Let's see. When are you going to learn to say it right? Hmm? She was studying haute couture. Haute couture. You're trying to say haute couture. Exactly. Like I said, hmm. haute couture. She loves fashion in the runway, and she wants to be a designer like Chanel, and like Armani, like Ferragamo. And finally, why did you come back? Mm, you know, visas and immigrant... Chanel. I thought you said when you arrived they were giving you French papers. Absolutely, yes. yes. Uh, what happened mm. was, um, w we'll explain later. The thing is, we want to go for a stroll mm -hmm. now. Oh, Lorenza, you may not get bored looking at cows all day, but honestly, we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Auntie. We want to get to know the town, see if there's something else. Mm. Mm. Go, go. It's a shame that I can't go, but Juana will gladly go with you two. Well, there's not a lot to see in this little town. No, and it's so tiny, you see it all in an hour. Well, there are some very pretty places. The church, for example. <sighs> oh, well, Juana, then let's go and see the church. Uh -huh. It's probably closed right now because Father Cayetano is in the hospital in Santello. Well, then what are we going to do? Because in these trashy stores, all they sell is cheap crap. Yeah, there isn't even a shopping mall, Mom. No. Awful. Hold on, I think there is one. That woman, for example, is dressed very modern. Tray chic. Is that what they call them in Paris? Mm hmm Mommy, that place has to be a store. Why don't we go check it out? Of course. I don't recommend you go in there, ladies. Oh, well, all right, Juana. Don't you worry. You can stay up here and wait. Let's go. Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 